please permit me to stand on existing protocol. When our representative in the National Assembly stood here, he said he doesn't know how to express his gratitude to Mr. Minister. And I say yes, uh, because he's our child. We elders know how to express gratitude. Two weeks ago, just two weeks ago, the Honorable Minister was in Kuali and he made promises. And because I have known his antecedents, like my son said, right from his days as Algon chairman, I told my people, I told the elders, I told the youths, and I told my wives, and I told you here, I have many of them, I said, go to sleep, close your eyes and sleep. Because when this man promises, he fulfills. He doesn't make any promise he cannot fulfill. And just within two weeks, here we are. Here we are to begin a project that is dear to our heart. And so, as a project internationally acclaimed, globally, globally acknowledged, when we sat down in our traditional council to say, okay, how do we honor him? We said, let's give him a name. And I'm the type that starts from, let's start from, what name do we give him? What does he qualify to earn? We said, number one, he fulfills promises. Number two, he is like a leader that doesn't stay at the back and say, you go. He leads in front. He's in front. And people follow him. That's why the other day I told my son, I said, follow the person where no road. And we've been following our honorable minister, and we are seeing roads opening. Roads are opening. And we'll continue to follow him, and more roads will open. Now, he is a field marshal, field marshal in a different category. Indefatigable. He stands tall. He stands huge. He's never defeated when he says he does it. Now, not just a field marshal for the elite army, he's a field marshal for the masses. He's the one who defends the masses. And we say, yes, that's a name. That's a name. Kaura. Kaura is the one who leads. Kaura is the one who leads in front and people follow him. Kaura is the one who fights until he's the only one who stands and he cannot be defeated. So we have decided to give him the title Kaura of Kuali. And I ended there. With the anointing, with the permission of the royal fathers, and the anointing of our elders, I have the honor. I have the honor, sir. The permission is granted to come near the honorable minister to dress you with the insignia of authority as the Kaura. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but um, the Sedona of Kuali. Our distinguished senator, Excellency, that day I told, yes, we have a senator, but we have a senator who we know, who knows us, who visits us, who sees us, whom we see. Senator Aduda is the senator we see day and night. We know him, he knows us, and he's the Sedona of Kuali, and he's the one who's been helping in the battle. But now that you are there, sir, Senator Aduda will take the rear. <laughs> yes. But sir, we have a cow. 
a small cow that we want you to take home as a kaura because you are going to celebrate and people will come and you need, we need, you need to feed them very well. And we have pieces of yam for pounded yam. If you don't have, sorry, I'm happy Madam is not here. If she cannot pound yam properly, we can get you some beautiful Gwari girls that will... <laughs> That one was just for his ears only, please. You didn't hear it. <laughs> then we have a cow for the Honorable Minister of State. Then there is a senator who comes all the way from Port Harcourt. Anywhere our Honorable Minister Indefatigable Marshal is going, that senator is always with him. And we feel that that senator should also be fed. So we prepared one cow for him. His name is Senator Mao. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.